after a couple of faults starts, Chiranjeevi has moved on from being the typical romantic hero to a more mature role. And in this manner, Godfather could well be a career-defining moment in the actor's future career. Of the many actors of the post-ANR NTR era, we've not seen too much of mainstream actors coming to terms with their age and mellowing down into roles of substance till they went on to eventually play in parental roles. For example, Shobhan Babu, as long as he was hero, was hero, and then just disappeared. Krishna hardly came on to play mature roles apart from the heroes that he always was. Singularly, Venkatesh was the man who identified his age and started moving into that niche area where his age suited the roles he was doing. Welcome to the party, welcome to the club, Chiranji. His godfather is not the typical godfather that uh, one would probably associate with uh, Mario Puzo. Mohan Raja's godfather is certainly not a mafia store. They are mafias, of course, they are villains, of course. Starts off with Sarvadaman, the chief minister, who dies. And immediately, the, the palace coup is, is who is going to be the leader in waiting. Eyes fall on his uh, ambitious but silent daughter, daughter Satyapriya Jay, played by Nainthar. And there is a minister in waiting in Narayan Varma, played by Murmisha. Why? Wicked and manipulated. Narayan Varma hopes to become the chief minister. He abets with Jaydev Das, Satyapriya's husband, Satyadev Kancharna, talk about him later. Soon only to be outplayed by the son-in-law of the deceased Chief Minister, Jaydev, who has a larger plan of becoming the Chief Minister himself. There's also a side story of how he abuses his wife's sister, not really. But the entire sympathy and the public support seems to go in favor of the underdog, the godfather, played by Chiranji, the protagonist of the movie, who is none other than the son of the chief minister, but born out of federal. From the beginning, there's sibling rivalry between the half-brother and the half-sister who share a father but have different mothers. And Satipriya grows believing that the death of her mother is because of her half-brother. How the misunderstandings evolve, what happens, and finally, who becomes the chief minister? And what role does Godfather have in all this? Is what the film is about. Credit Mohan Raj for making a film which is Chiranjeevi centric, but does not go overboard. Thank you very much for not giving us romantic songs with the leader in the making. Thank you very much for not putting Chiranjeevi in that slot, wherein he has to be larger than life beyond the point of redemption or the And very importantly, giving us a Chiranjeevi, whose talent as an actor comes up front yet again. Talented actor, like so many other of his peers. 
caught up and consumed by stardom. It is interesting, he revisits and reinvents himself in this way. Nine Taras are wasted story. I don't know how these heroines choose their scripts, unless they say, I'm getting good money, I'm acting in a film with Chiranjeevi, it helps my curriculum vitae, so good enough. Otherwise, this is no film that a heroine with her repute should be seeing this. The central piece in the film is the actor who plays Nantara's husband, the villain in peace, and the actor who stands up scene to scene against Chiranjeevi, Satyadev Kanchar. What a performance. As a villain, non cliche, stand sometimes, good sometimes, and evil sometimes. Human audience. I think this is a standout film for Satyadev Kanchana, and hopefully we will see a lot of him without he being typecast, like Murli Sharma is now. Too typecast. Will somebody please tell him that every mannerism of his is now predictable? He can't keep on doing Allah by Kuntapuram. He needs to change. And an actor of his talent will have to do more than just adapt to what the director tells him or what the seeming script requires him. Godfather is not about anybody else as it is about the return of Chiranjeevi, the finding of a new place for Chiranjeevi, and above all, brilliant performance from Satyadev and Chandra. To the typical Telugu film watching crowds, Godfather is worth it. It's no money or use of film. It's not about the Sicilians, Machiavellian stories, but this is a Telugu film within the precincts of Tom. What the watch? I acknowledge contributions from Abhinav and Datu, and with that, sign off on Godfather. Good day.